Hello travelers, I'm Timothy French. We're in Fountain Inn, South Carolina to continue on our quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right across from this fountain they have here in town at Main and Jones Street. Yeah, Fountain Inn was named after a fountain that was in front of an inn back in the day when this was a stagecoach uh, trail, wagon trail, whatever, coming from Columbia on up to Greenville. And that fountain right there represents it. It's not the original, of course. The original, original fountain was fed by a spring right out in front of an inn here somewhere. Uh, I think I read it's north of town somewhere, so maybe we'll find it along the way. I don't know. We'll see. If you look at a map, you'll see we're on the southeast side of the I-85 corridor down below Simpsonville, which we've already done, and not far from Greenville. And beautiful town from what I'm seeing so far. We've got Angela Salon here on the right. And a candy chronicles freeze-dried candy inside there so that's cool yeah, you can see a mother and her child over there enjoying that park here this morning just a beautiful day out here and it's been cold last week but it's up about 36 now feeling pretty good with the sun got steam coffee and cream in there so plenty of little shops to stop into how you doing It's a Monday. Got some of them will be closed here on a Monday. And it's around 10:30. It's a cool little place to sit right in here. Snowdrift, perfect, perfect shortening. I think is what that says. <laughs> well, that's kind of cool. There's a look at the other side. Got a mattress store over there. And that fella got some drinks, taking it into some uh, friends of his, I imagine. Betsy Tan, Betsy Tanner, attorney at law here on the right. I thought it said Tanning at first. Yeah, there's a railroad track down here on our left side behind these buildings over there. And uh, I imagine that's uh, what helped this town grow over the years after things got built up a little bit. Like I said, at one time it was just a stagecoach stop, old dirt wagon trail road, I imagine. And people would stop there at that end that had that fountain coming up uh, out in front of it. Take them a break or even maybe even stay overnight. And uh, that was about all, all there was here in town. And then the train come in. I think this uh, is a depot over here. Let's see if we can get across here. Let me get, let me get you on the other side. I'll tell you what, let's keep going straight. We'll get that on our way back. Got Lily's own Main. Got a nice little store right down the corner. Got a few little stores down through there. It looks like some parking. I see public parking back there, so that's good. Still got some Christmas decorations up here on January 22nd. So I think it's time to take that down. <laughs> Main Street Insurance is here. I don't see many empty buildings so far, so that's good. A little bird just flew out of there. Vendors inside, Avon Outlet. Got all kinds of stuff going in there, that's cool. Looks like they're building something up here, a little park or something. Maybe that was a Christmas tree there. Let's get around these guys. What was back there, Christmas tree? <laughs> Take, taking it down. We've got an all state building here on the right. It looks like we do have a few ones down here, maybe. That was tinted up. So maybe something's in there, just the office. Husky Builders is here. We got Birdette Hardware. Priced right every day. I like these old. Hardware stores in town like this. You can see we're getting out to the end now. Kind of wish they'd have a sign it to where the uh, original fountain was. Got a CVS now moving in on the end down here. Let's see. Let's take around, look around the corner here. That old building needs the windows in top of it. I think that's the town hall right over there. Got a statue over there. 
Let's step down there and see what that is. So this is a statue of Peg Leg Bates, Clayton Peg Leg Bates. And he lived here in this town and made a name for himself apparently of being a dancer, even though he had a peg leg. So let's check out what he has to say here. It says, don't look at me in sympathy. I'm glad I'm this way. Well, I feel good and I'm knocking on wood as long as I can say. You just watch, the, you just watch me peg it. You can tell by the way I leg it that I'm peg leg baits, the one-legged dancing man. I mix like fantastic, but with hot gymnastics, I'm peg leg baits, the one-legged dancing man. Life means do the best that you can with what you have, with all your mind and heart. One can do anything in this world if one wants to do it badly enough. Clayton, peg leg baits. Now that's an awesome saying right there, and that's true. This man had something bad happen to him when he lost his leg, and then he didn't just lay down and whine about it. He got up and made something of himself, and apparently was a great, a, a, apparently was a great tap dancer. But that was cool. I bet that was a, a good show to go see when he was around. Yeah, this is the city hall, and they got another fountain down this way here. Another little monument over here. Let's see what that is before we head back over into the town. Got a beautiful little town hall, or they call it city hall. Better get it right. In memory of Eve, the first woman. I don't know what that little symbol means. Oh, Eve, the first woman. I guess it means Adam and Eve. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's jump on back out to the other side of the street over there. I think I'll cut it off and uh, we'll pick it up over on that corner over there. We're across the street now looking back at City Hall. We're going to turn and go back down the other side of their town center here. Check out these buildings. they got one they're working on right here on the right. Yeah, beautiful town center so far. We've got the black tulip here. Got some things in the window for you to see to kind of draw you in as you're walking by. Nice outside the streetscaping here at this shop. That's good. That's good. We got tortillas here on the end here. Tacos and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> cool name. Longevity Pilates is also here studio and cross training all the buildings are looking good and like I said the whole town's looking good and Fountain Inn is part of the Golden Strip it includes Simpsonville and Malden which we've already done a video on and it's called that because the it's a corridor of businesses with uh, low unemployment so many companies have moved here I believe Tesla, Tesla's even going to move here and have some kind of company here so that's good and all but anyway this is the tip of that golden strip I got a coming soon right here to call the slice used to be called Southwest grit I think that's what it was gonna slice gonna be in there now and it's got another company here pump south on 117 North Main all the buildings are looking good like I said we got what we got here we got the sock ministry and tuxedo rental in here they can get you all decorated up and looking fancy for whatever event you are looking to go to that's southwest grit okay southwest grit move down the street to the bigger store here got a nice little pink sign up there to draw you in got this cool little sign right here to make you stop and take a peek that's the way you do it when you have a business see if i can get a good one that i might use that as my thumbnail who knows yeah they did a good job there we got uh, it's like Fair House restaurant right here. It's a good place to eat in town. They got a variety. Got a mural over there we missed on that crane there or a lift. Got an ice cream shop, shakes, malts, and Sundays as well. And their times are two to eight, so that's cool. And they got one called I Declare. I Declare. Say close. See y'all later. It's gifts and home accessory and jewelry. Yeah, a lot of places will be closed on Monday, but uh, this one's got quite a few open. Yeah, I want to come in here earlier this, I want to go later this week, maybe come down around Thursday or Friday, but looks like it's gonna rain start tomorrow, so I came on down here on this Monday. There's old Bucky's, Bucky's Barbecue. I bet they got some good food in there. 
Here's the other side that we walked down earlier, just to give you a further look. Got the fountain in tap room right here. Nice little building. I bet that's fun. So we're back on trade now. Where we were going to cut across, we're going to go down here and see this whole depot. But you can see they got this whole area fixed up for people to sit outside. I don't know if they share these seats. Maybe this is all the tap house seats. I don't know, but it got little warmers out there to keep you warm so you can sit, out, sit outside when it's cold. I bet there wasn't nobody sitting outside last week when it was in the teens and the 20s, though. Yeah, got more sitting out here, so that's cool. So I don't know if this is the original depot. If it was, maybe they added the brick part to it in the front, but I'm glad they got it either way. That's the Chamber of Commerce and the History Center for this town. So if you want to find out where that original fountain was along with the inn, it's probably long gone by now. You can probably go in there and they'll tell you. I like this little steam engine they got right here. That's cool. Yeah, this whole area is cool. Got it fenced in, it looks like a place for a stage and a farmer's market down there. Depot Street, one way. Don't get that confused when you can, well, you can't come this way anyway. <laughs> Gotta go around this little circle. All right, well, let's go back up and finish off the rest of these buildings. See what's in them. Fountain Inn. Man, I bet that was quite the ride coming up from Columbia back in the day. Bouncing around on one of them old stagecoaches. Well, let's take a right back on Main. The first one here is a wood fire Italian restaurant, it looks like, so that's good. There's the Fountain Inn welcome flags they got on their poles. In the attics right here, big antique place in town. So they got a good variety of businesses. Got an accountant and a bookkeeper. Everything a person would need in a town, I think they got it here. And that's what town centers are for. They're here to meet the needs of their citizens and tourists. If they get big enough to do that, they still got their Christmas stuff up here at Remax. Got a mattress store here on the right. And I'll tell you what, I don't know how about anybody affords a mattress anymore. It's like going in to buy a car. Man, I just want something to sleep on. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen the prices on them things lately, but that's crazy. You got the TD Perry City Park and that Swamp Rabbit Trailhead. Now that Swamp Rabbit Trail, I, I first read about it up there in Traveler's Rest when we did that video. And that trail apparently comes down from Traveler's Rest all the way to here, so you can ride all the way down to here, back up to there, and go through all them towns. Here's a, a barber shop right here on the right. We're back up here at the fountain again now but yeah, that'd be cool to ride that little trail on your bike through all those towns I like those rail trails like that I guess it's a rail trail maybe it's just a trail they made along the side of the road I don't know y'all tell us about it if you rode along it so yeah this is where that girl and her daughter was or child was sitting earlier I don't know if it was a daughter or son but what a great place to come sit take some pictures with the kids and enjoy the day get one of them books out of the old free lending library Thomas Park, Palmer's Walk of the Bend, see ya. A lot going on in here. Fountain Inn, South Carolina. The point or the tip of the golden corridor or strip or whatever y'all call it. But I think business is good here, so if you're looking for a place to live, come check them out. Looking for a place to open a business, come check them out. See what they can do. Commerce Building's right back there with the History Center, so. I'm sure they'll help you out if you're interested. Anyway, we're going to call it right here. Fountain Police. Fountain in Police right there. No white car. And got distracted. We're going to call it right here. Hope you enjoyed this walking talk tour of Fountain Inn, Fountain Inn, South Carolina. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe and share. Y'all take care.